morning, everybody. Peter Lamont here. Have you ever had a morning where everything went wrong? I mean, absolutely everything. You went to bed the night before and you said to yourself, here's my plan of attack for the next day. Whether it's in your business life, or your personal life, whether you were planning out your list of people that you were going to contact today for you know, opportunities in your business, or if it was just getting the kids ready for school and out the door, have you ever had one of those mornings? I know every single person in the world has experienced one of those times when absolutely nothing went right. How often does it happen to you where something doesn't go your way in the morning? Your, your you know, plan, your to-do list, your action list has been interrupted by some kind of unforeseen event. And it doesn't have to be uh, you know, some sort of nuclear disaster. It, it just is anything that sort of takes you off of your track. Something that derails you even momentarily. You know, sometimes it's, you know, uh, not being able to find the kid's lunchbox. Other times maybe you and your spouse or significant other had an argument and it sets the tone for the day, right? Have you ever had a conversation with anybody or maybe even with yourself where you planned on doing all these great things today and then you wake up and there's a problem and then the whole day is shot. Have you ever heard anybody say, you know, ah, oh, I had a fight with my wife this morning or my husband and it just set the tone for the day? I'm sure you have. And I just wanna talk about having an issue, an incident, some sort of frustration set the tone for the rest of your day. There's no way around the fact that you're going to have unforeseen issues pop up, right? You go to bed, best laid plans, and all of a sudden you wake up and all hell breaks loose. Let's say you get the kids in the car, you're driving down the street, and all of a sudden you realize you forgot their lunchbox, now you're gonna be late for work. All of these things. But the important thing here is to not let an unforeseen incident set the tone for the rest of your day. I don't believe that one incident has the power to derail you completely. If your day starts off with an unexpected situation, what you need to do to fix your day so that your day doesn't go down the tubes and doesn't become one of these cliche, oh, my, my you know, experience with my husband set the tone for the day and my day was a waste and I got nothing done because all I could think about is what happened that morning. There is a way to fix that. There is a way to get yourself back on track for the day. The day is not wasted. And how do you do that? Well, I call it resetting. What is resetting? Well, resetting is a tool, a tip, a tactic that I use, a technique, if you will, that helps me reset my day, reset my goals, reset my my mind, essentially, to deal with what happened in the morning, to compartmentalize it and move on. What does it mean to reset? Well, let's use some sports analogies. Have you ever seen a, let's say a Major League Baseball player and he's getting up to the plate and he gets himself set in his stance and something's not right, he's not comfortable. There's something that happened in his pattern, right? Because all athletes, especially baseball players, they've got this routine or pattern that they go through prior to taking the first pitch. And he puts his hand up to the ump and he says, time out, and he steps out of the box. What he's doing in that moment is resetting himself, resetting to adjust his mind, to adjust his pattern, his focus, to go back to what he planned on doing when he first got up to the plate. He takes a minute, he takes a deep breath, he takes a couple swings, and then he resets his pattern, gets back up to the plate, and then he's ready to take the pitch. Same thing with a tennis player. Have you ever seen a tennis player getting ready to serve? Bounces the ball, looks like he's going to throw it up in the air to serve, and he stops for a minute. He takes another couple of bounces and then does it. Well, that's the same thing there. He was resetting because something wasn't right. Something caused that tennis player to deviate from what he had expected, what his plan, his pattern was, and he reset. 
Now I use that in my daily life because you cannot avoid problems and you can't avoid the unforeseen that pops up every day. You can't avoid problems with your kids, problems with your car, problems with your spouse or significant other that you just can't. But what you can do is control how your mind reacts to them. Now I do it by some deep breathing and I refocus my mind. I put what has happened aside and I carry on with my plan, albeit adjusted to deal with whatever popped up previously, okay? So this idea of resetting is really critical for everyone, not just entrepreneurs. I know a lot of these, um, the, these chats that I've been doing while driving focus around small business, entrepreneurship, uh, but oftentimes, some of the things that I'm talking about, they have a direct correlation with your personal life, personal development, personal success, and this is one of them. It takes practice to reset. It doesn't happen overnight. But the idea of training your brain to address the situation and to refocus, to reset, to step out of the batter's box, take a minute, take 10 minutes, take deep breaths, think about what it is you're going to do, what you need to accomplish, how you need to handle the deviation that occurred, the incident that occurred, and then move forward. It's critical to your success, both personally and in your business. Now, if you like this idea, this topic of resetting, leave some comments down below and I'll elaborate on this concept and that some of the techniques that I use to help me when something unforeseen pops out of nowhere and you know could very easily lead me down a path of you know setting the tone for the day. Um, so if you're interested in this, let me know and I'll put up some more videos about this. Also, just take a second and if you've been watching this relatively new series of videos that I'm you know putting out while I'm driving, very informal, very conversational. Uh, it's you know just an opportunity while I have some additional time commuting to share some thoughts with you and hopefully uh, share some insight into how you can better your business, your brand, yourself. And I'd just like to know if you like this sort of style as opposed to some of the other videos that are in you know the YouTube video library, the Law Basics and some of the podcasting. Of course, uh, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I am going to be doing some additional Law Basics videos, um, likely this week, and we'll get them up and, and deal more specifically with some legal talk, uh, topics. But I'd like to know what you think about this and if this is something that you'd like to see more of. And again, if you'd like more information about this idea of resetting, let me know. Just leave a comment below. Well, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today on my commute in. And um, I hope that you take some of this information and even if you get just you know one little point that maybe makes your day better or helps your business grow, then I feel like this, this was worth it. So thanks for joining me. Uh, make sure that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and let other people know as well. All right guys, have a great day and I'll see you later.